What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lois' Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today I'm here with Tales of the Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 6, La Dada. Um, don't really know what's going on with this one. I think this one was like a horror uh, thing based off the promo. Um, but it's the season finale. Um, I guess I'll reserve my thoughts for the whole series after, for the end, um, my post-discussion. But uh, yeah, we're just going to jump into this one. Uh, for one of the reactions are available on Patreon. <laughs> I'm trying to think at all. Maria's still following us. Ignore her. Are we near the old campgrounds? I may know a place, um, but we can always stay there for like a night. I don't know. She has like an intuition, like a healer, you know, like spells and stuff. Spells. Is that the bad kind of witch or the good thing? There are no bad. Never mind. Uh, yeah, there are. You better be careful who house y'all going to. Got all types of know. spirits and demons in there. I don't get time for that. There's enough shit lurking out here. Sorry. I mean, somebody on it and got the candles lit up, the lights on. Surprised they even got electricity. Hello? Is anyone there? Jesus. Uh, Alma. She wasn't even spooked or alarmed or nothing. Girl, what you got flying around here? That? We do not want to hurt you. I used to live nearby. Nobody lives nearby. I know someone that used to come to you for candles and tinctures. Maria, I just need somewhere to stay just for the night. Well, you cannot stay here. Por favor, nos estamos congelando. Nos iremos por la mañana, si lo prometemos. Tengo comida. Eso es todo. Gracias, señora. Muy amable. No hay mucha gente que sabe dónde vivo. Recuérdame, ¿cómo sabías dónde yo vivía? Conocí a alguien que... María, sí. I have a hard time believing that. Nos conocimos en el camino. Ella dijo que ella venía para acá, pero los sonámbulos la atraparon. Y pensa que... She, she said that you were here and that you could help us. Go wash up. I have some spare blankets you can take when you leave. Sorry, but I just gotta ask. Why? Hmm. Where are we supposed to go? Just be grateful she let you in. I'm not sure why you did that. What are we supposed to do tomorrow night? Or the night after? Eric. No, it's true. It's freezing out there. We almost die. We will die. We have all this space and it's just us too. No. Seriously. You gotta respect her wishes. We're just gonna... There's probably a reason. You're just gonna give us a death sentence. No, we're all heading in that direction. Yeah, well, we don't have to yet. Bye, yeah, thank you. See? That's what you get for being ungrateful. <sighs> foolish. Foolish, foolish. Come on now, what's up with this dude? She's just going to die like that? What the fuck? Now he deserved everything that happened to him after that, because he didn't have to do none of that. They gonna regret coming here. I just know it. Girl, why are you looking at it? Wipe it off. Oh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> she ain't fighting back too hard, it seems. Yeah, and I would be leaving at that point. I don't give a damn how cold it is. Damn this guy. If he want to stay in the house of horrors, he can do that. Real fireplace. I mean, this house is something to do with it. You don't even care that lady died. Ain't shit. Just because she's dead, it doesn't mean we can take this house. We're not taking anything. She's gone. It's messed up. But we're protected by stone. It's like a little fortress. You know, we can't just leave it sitting here. You gotta reframe how you're thinking about it. She fell. Die. Yeah, but it was all because of what you was doing. So, Spirit's gonna haunt anybody, but haunt his place. ass and leave that girl alone because she tried to be respectful. Can you settle down with me in this sick ass house and do nothing for forever? We could even snore as loud as we want to. It was your snoring. Mm -hmm. That was God's gift. I hate it. Yeah. Oh yeah, her spirit is pissed. Eric, did you say something? What? Mm -mm. Yep. We gotta go. Why well, it ain't haunting him though? He the one that did it. Leave that girl alone. Who's there? She had a blanket over the damn cage. Who does that? Okay. Here you go. That's mine. Bingo, bingo. Record? All right. Got you. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Heard talking a little too well. This lady had, she had everything. Yeah, she must have known something we didn't. Well, she definitely didn't know what was going to happen tonight. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That was a joke. Awful, awful joke. Yeah. I'm sorry. We have right. to be careful about what we say because it's bad energy. Yeah, it's only bad if you believe it's bad. That was a joke. You all right? If she ain't speaking up, I would have been said something. And we would have laughed, or I would have laughed. House. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? No, Eric. This is her bed. It's just a regular mattress. Mm -hmm. Come on, the other rooms in this house are tiny. I mean, you go sleep in there if you want. You're tiny, but... He just be disrespecting the house left and right. I'm just trying to see what she gonna do. Yes. I should close. Oh, hell no. I would still wouldn't have been laying there. I would have got up and started swinging shit, throwing shit. Hell no. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, I would have thrown everything in that room. I would have had something in my hands at all times. Uh -uh. She trying to pray it away. Nah, it's too late for that. And where the hell did he go in the middle of the night? I don't understand. Damn that candle, put a cross in your hand, lady. You better, <laughs> better pray right. Hail to the now. Girl, get out the house and stop touching everything. Find you a, a sharp cross. Pray, but be ready to stab if you got to. What is this? Do not go to the light at the end of the tunnel, ma'am. Oh, hell no. Why? See, it's fine. What the fuck are you doing? It's just a dream, darling. A nightmare. You came to explore in the middle of the damn night? She was there, right there in the wall. She ain't panicked enough for me. I would have been telling everything. I'm like, I'm leaving. Yeah, how about you rest? I'll go ready the chicken coop, maybe some eggs. How's she supposed to relax? She had been attacked several times, and then she just resets and acts like ain't nothing happened. <laughs> I 
ain't never seen nothing like this in the Walking Dead universe in my life. You okay? Um, I just feel cooked up. Like, I'm waiting to be attacked or something. She yeah. ain't articulating everything she's been seeing. Trying to help. What is that? Why mean? is it going after just her? Is my question. It's nothing. Relax, it ain't nothing. You'd have been attacked several times. What do you mean? Cute. This character don't make sense. I'm gonna go for a walk, and I'll stay within the walls. You what? <laughs> what are you saying? Huh? I wanna hurt you, right? I'll be quiet. Girl, it's foggy and you. I'm telling you, her this character don't make sense. If it's foggy outside and I can't see two feet in front of me, I'm not about to go for a stroll. And I'm being haunted. Hell to the no! Y'all can't make this character make sense to me. Girl, what was that when you was getting attacked? You sure didn't pull it out. Where did your gun? Out. Oh hell no! I would have shot. My father said, "Get your gun." Look, she ain't said nothing. That's crazy. Can I tell you something? I've been hearing whispers. Whispers. Talk time you fucking told them. Yeah, and uh, sometimes um, I'll see things. Like he don't hate like that. It's not weird that I don't think it's right to be here. It's weird that you do. Maybe you should be afraid. I don't think it's weird. I'm just more focused on the fact that you think you're seeing things. You should have been telling him as it happens. It's not crazy. I know that. Are you glad that she died? What? It's just a question. I mean, we're in her house, eating her food. You can tell me. I want to know. Are you serious? This is our house, Idalia. Things have changed. People take what's in front of them. That's it. End the story. All right? Look, you, you can leave if you really want to. All right? I just don't, just don't put all of this on me, all right? If I would have said what I felt and what was happening, and if nobody listened, then I'm gone. See, fuck that. I'm like, like what? Like, oh, what the fuck? Dolly, what the hell? Yeah, see. About what? It's all in I her head, it. but that's not good. I'm packing. We're leaving first thing. At least I am. There you go. She getting there. She just a little slow with it. But I ain't waiting for the morning. I'm going. Did she never come back? Well, I'm glad he finally seen some shit. Oh! He accidentally killed somebody. That was a, a real person. somebody I, I would like to think on accident but i feel like he has a, just a blatant disregard for people's lives and i guess animals too he just killed a fucking bird did he get possessed or something she, time to go you know, i better hope her spirit don't follow you because that happens Cause if y'all curse yeah i'm just better off dead i'm gonna be honest I mean, why y'all keep splitting out 
Hot damn, this ain't Scooby Doo. And it's only two of y'all. Is that Maria? Thank God, Eric. Is, is, is that you? It's me, Eric. Maria. Maria? Um, Let me in. Like he misses some ankle meat, ma'am. Can you're dead. Yes, you can. Ah, someplace else. You can't be serious. Somewhere else. I walked all the way here. Italia? You dropped your ankle meat somewhere, ma'am? Italia! Italia! She did this to me. You know she did, Eric. We can all share. You ain't got shit. Shit, I'm on my way out. You stupid as hell if you open this door. Come here, give me something to me. You felt her. She followed us. Eric, you can hear her right now. Eric, no, Eric, it's in your head, okay? We're hearing things. That was a tsunami, though, and I killed it. It's dead. It's time to go. You're the one seeing things, huh? Not me. No, Eric, it's in your head. You don't see things, don't you? Don't put, don't, don't put, don't start planting seeds in my head. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh. Sir, you better compartmentalize and get yourself together. He's just not very mentally strong. How was you put in that? It tastes weird. What you, what you do, huh? I'm really asking you that. You can't trust me. All right. Y'all need to go. Answer me this, huh? Maria, you said that you you ran into the, the Sonambulos looking for food, huh? As she broke her ankle. Oh. What? You don't believe me now? Because you are more than willing to defend me. What does that mean? Huh? They were friends of Maria and they were asking uh, questions. Yeah, because they didn't believe you. They didn't believe you. And I was trying to have your back. And the guns that you got off them? Is that just an added bonus? You know, we should have never come here because this place is making us turn on each other. Then why'd you even bring it up? Because it was only supposed to be one night. Uh, yeah, it's your fault for bringing him here and his fault for setting all these events up. Hello? What the fuck? You're not real. This place is ours now. Wait, what? She went outside? I just got lost. What just happened? Was she outside that whole time and he was seeing a fake her? Or did they just separate again? She'd pop up to go to commercial break. I can't believe y'all still here another whole day after we just agreed we was leaving. What is she? What? What happened? They're all down there. Ooh. Everyone. Everyone that we've ever met. Everyone that. That you. Me, me, me. What? I didn't do anything. We did everything together. All we did was survive, Idalia. That's it. So he killed the, the she's other group. Doing this to us, and oh, we deserve it. Stop! Stop saying that. This is just a place, Idalia. This is just a place, Idalia. Stop it! It's just a place. No, it's not me. Stop! It's all in your head. No. Stop it. No. I don't know 
find out what's happening. knows this lady want her house back and I would have been giving her house back. She uh she got a couple friends. Their behavior is just very inconsistent for me. So I don't know. I don't know who's seeing what. I wanna say it's almost to get in her head. But now he's starting to see stuff but he's more calm than he was earlier. Earlier he was freaking the fuck out. Now they're both finally seeing the same shit. He said she would never come back. She hit her head on it, think. You never think. Don't blame me for this. We're only here because of you. Stop. Dahlia, stop! You said he wasn't me! Why does he keep telling her to stop? I don't understand. No! Why are they blaming each other? I don't understand. What the fuck are y'all doing? Y'all deserve this fate, because y'all dumb as hell. I would have been gone. This would have never even gotten a chance to happen to me, because I would have been gone that first night. Y'all, I don't know what the fuck that was. All right. That was fucking weird. Um, It just didn't make sense to me. Um... Yeah, just the, the character decisions didn't make sense. Um, I felt, especially towards the end, it got inconsistent, but maybe that's just because I just don't understand what the fuck. I don't know if she was seeing shit truly the whole time and he was never seeing anything, and that whole flip out scene that he had was in her head, or if he did see stuff, but then he was acting crazy, and then it just cut to her going, being back outside, swinging the damn knife. And then he was normal again, and they ended up staying even longer for whatever fucking reason. But, like, why does she ever even go out in the fog? Who the fuck does that? And if you were seeing shit, why did it take you so long to say stuff? Like, what are you doing? This is not normal people decisions. I don't give a damn how long I've been out there fighting. If I didn't fought and made it this long, I could do it again. I'm not about to sit in the house of horrors and be fucking haunted because he didn't fucking made the lady kill herself on accident. I ain't got time for that. I'm going to just go. I'm going to eat, take some stuff with me, maybe some food, and I'm going to keep going. I'm sure I can find another place to live. I can find another house. I mean, there's a lot of fucking vacancies. I mean, and y'all know this area. Y'all been out here. Y'all still in the area for whatever reason. But I guess they're also being haunted by past shit that happened to them because they were another group. Maria came back dead. They didn't believe, um, oh, girl, um, in her story about what happened. So... Apparently he, the dude, shot and killed all of them. And they were all down in that basement, in their head at least. I don't know, now they're dead. I, weird fucking story. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, overall, this series, I think it was probably my least favorite series out of all the Walking Dead stuff. And I think it's because it went really supernatural all of a sudden, like, I know the zombies aren't real, and that is supernatural, but it, it just got real, like, really into, like, the fantasy stories with, I mean, even, I enjoyed the Blair and Gina episode, I did, tr truthfully, it was hilarious, but it was, you know, it wasn't real, it was some sort of fantasy sci-fi story, like, that's kind of what this one was, like, it does it quite fit in my opinion the walking dead like it 
it has the zombies to add to that element. But it's just like they took a bunch of different type of uh, genres and then just threw zombies in there and was like, yeah, let's tell some stories. And I mean, that's cool. It's okay, but it doesn't, it's not memorable. And they weren't like masterpieces in my opinion to where it's just like i'm gonna come rewatch this whole series again like i can't wait to buy this on blu-ray i want to watch these again no um i probably would watch the alpha one again maybe the blair and gina one just for laughs but other than that the rest they don't have any rewatch value to me and i think another issue is we have this huge world um with a lot going on with fear and world beyond in the main show and there's so many gaps in between the timelines and there's so many characters throughout the years ones that didn't even get utilized completely like they should have used more characters that we are familiar with or use more settings in which we know things are taking place in like you know what I mean? Like, if we would have got a CRM episode about something, like, even if it was characters we didn't know, like a story going on there that's going to impact one of the stories later, whether it's with Rick and Michonne or one of the World Beyond characters. Like, it, it they should have done things that we can more familiarize ourselves with, that fans can feel rewarded, you know, for when watching this series. Because most of these are all just going to be mixed reviews because it's going to, some people are going to like it, some people are not going to like it. And you don't want a show, you don't want to go, like, people going into a show where it's just like, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not like this. And then they feel like they watch it and they don't like it. They waste their time. They come back next week, don't like that one. They feel like they're wasting their time. And you're just going to have people falling off. Like, they need to give, uh, like, the fans something to latch on to because this is probably one of the weakest Walking Dead entries, in my opinion. The Alpha 1 episode was the strongest. And again, and I think that's probably universally agreed upon because we, you know, we like that character. We've had time with her. We've connected with her. I mean, I we're not going to see any characters from this last episode I just watched. And it wasn't over the top, like, good to me. So, like, what, why would I ever want to revisit that? Um, though episode 5 did have the PPP thing, which was cool, which connected to the main show. But it still wasn't enough. It still didn't get any information. Now, had that episode been centered around what that card key was, or if they do another episode that center is around that key, I may feel rewarded in that aspect um, because I can connect something to the main show, which just interests me. It's like Easter eggs. Um, I like stuff like that. But when you're just giving me these one-offs that don't don't really pertain to anything, they don't have anything new that I've never seen, I mean, because I've seen Walkers and I've seen paranormal activities and i've seen cult shit um like you know i've seen all that i've seen the groundhog day shit like i've seen all that stuff before so it's like just because you throw zombies in there doesn't make it refreshing to me you know what i mean um i think they got wonderful actors and actresses for this series i think they did great with that but the stories weren't all there and I've seen another thing um, on the internet, too. On, well, mainly Twitter, because that's what I go on. But even sometimes in the comments. Um, they do need to get away from the woods. Like, all these episodes pretty much happen in the woods, at least at some point. Like, show us some new locations. Like, that's one of the things I thought was refreshing about, like, um, World Beyond and, like, Fear. Like, they got out, we got to see different communities, we got to see, you know, different states and what they had going on, uh, especially Fear. Fear does a really great job of changing locations and keeping their show fresh. I may not always like the story, but, I mean, they're always keeping it fresh and giving us different characters and different locations and, you know, all types of different stuff. Like, Fear is like, they like to try different things, and if, you know, sometimes, if it's not your thing... You know, they, they like to tell different type of stories. Like, if, if it's not your thing, well, hopefully next season will be like, you know, you just, they got to find their footing with this. And I think if they were to do a season two, they need to focus more on world building and maybe just do like those episodes that, you know, you may not necessarily have time for um, when doing, a, you know, a regular season. Like, there's definitely some stories we could fill in. Like, um... For example, Heath, like whatever happened to that character? Yeah, they say the CRM got him. Okay, show me how. Show me what he's been up to. If you can get that actor back, if he can't commit to a full series, you know, where they can tell his story, get him back for an episode. And since this is an anthology, you got 
months to hopefully try to get him in somewhere if he can't fit. Like, you can work with him and try to get his character's story told. So, I mean, it's just things like that that I think they should try to do more of. Like, give us some backstories on some characters. Like, Morales. I feel like they wasted him in Season 8 just by killing him off so quick. But show me his journey with, like, how the Saviors found him, how he lost his family, what was going on. Like, he... That was the character I was excited to return and, you know, see some cool things with. Maybe if you can get... I know um, the actress that plays Al left, and I know she's probably not going to come back to commit to a full season of um, Fear. Like, one day, it doesn't have to be next season, but, like, if they continue on with the show, get her in back, her and um, Isabel, back for an episode. Tell us what's going on with them, what they're doing to, you know, combat the CRM or stay away from them. Just show us some interesting things. The CRM, too, is another interesting big group that I feel like they don't utilize enough. Like, well, Beyond did great, but it was focused on a specific group. Like, we still haven't seen the actual state, the big state that the CRM is in. And since they're not really doing the movies no more, how are they going to tell all these stories? Like, World Beyond teased, like, there was a bigger leader um, other than Elizabeth. Um, so, like, and Elizabeth ended up getting arrested by Jadis at the end. Like, shh, can, can, you know, give us some more of those stories, like... You know, like something you don't have to commit a series around, but at the same time, we could get some continuation. Like, give us something. Because I just, Rick and Michonne's series is only six episodes, and it's going to have a lot going on. They don't got time to tell, you know, Elizabeth and Jadis' story, you know, all in those six episodes. And, and to be frank and honest, I don't want to see that. I want to see what the hell Michonne's been doing all this time, because she's been gone for months you know, what she's been going on, who's that group she's with. Like, she's going to have a lot going on. We still have to catch up on what Rick has been doing in those six years, which I'm sure will fill in some of those questions with Jadis and the rest of those other people. I'm sure it will. But they don't have a ton of time to spend on that. So cut down on that. Give me some of that entails. And that way I have a story to connect to going into the Rick show. Or like if they tie them together, be like, uh, you know, if they have tales airing the same time as Rick and Michonne, like they do another season, y'all can have episodes connect and it's kind of almost like a crossover even. You know, just reward fans. Just do, there's so many different stories they can tell. Don't just give us random stories and that just be that. Like, because they just don't have any rewatch value. They don't connect to anything. Um, and y'all may feel different. This is just my opinion. Um... I don't feel like this series was strong enough as a whole um, to where if it was going to do a season two, then I would want to see more episodes just randomly like this. Like, no, I've been watching this universe for over a decade. Like, I need to get, reward us. Give us something worth investing our time in. Like, they didn't even give us no damn variant walkers. Like, we had some French folks. I guess we weren't actually in France, but like... Tell those stories. Come on, what's going on? Like, how did this happen? Like, World Beyond got real interesting in the end. I would have took a season three of that over some of the stuff I got here. Like, tell us some stories. Give us some stuff we ain't seen. Walking Dead, as far as much as I love that show, we've been, you know, in the same places, like just dealing with drama there. What's going on in the rest of the world? I don't want to see no fucking... I don't know, spiritual crap that didn't even make sense to me. <laughs> like, I don't even know what they was doing this episode. Um, it just, I don't know. They just wrote an episode for characters to die. And like, eh, I think we could have come up with something a little better, especially for those actors. They seem pretty strong. Um, I mean, but it wasn't a bad episode. I don't think there was any bad episodes, but they, they I feel like they were just very mid just mid um and uh, ex with the exception of like alpha's episode um so i think they can do better if they do a season two and i hope they do and i know it's not gonna be easy trying to get you know certain actors to come back um especially after they've moved on with their lives like i know it would be hard to get like someone like sinequa who has her own series i already know steven yen said he ain't coming back and doing nothing um but those characters were fleshed out really well I could say they could even get away with doing some of the lesser known characters and getting them, you know, better. I mean, try to get, you know, 
some other characters. Like I want to see more Alpha and Beta and like what actually happened with them in the Whispers. That was a very well done episode. I think we need more of that. Um, and even if they wanted to capitalize, like I said, on Devon's story and eventually connect that to the main show, go ahead and do that. I'll be okay with it. That would make that episode feel a bit more rewarding for me. Um, but yeah, that that's just how I feel about the whole thing. Um, but in terms of rating these episodes, since I've seen the whole series, I would say Alpha's number one. I would say I the next one I enjoyed the most was Blair and Gina. Um, then I would go with, I think, I think I would go with Devon's episode. Then, um, Terry Crews' character, what was the name? Joe and Evie. Um, and then I would go, I guess this one. Um, and then I liked, uh, episode four the least, um, because that one had more potential and they did nothing with it. Um. It was just a sad ending for that one. But yeah, that's how I rank everything. Um, but of course, I want to hear your guys' ranking. I want to hear what you guys thought about this series, what you guys think could make it better. Um, if you agree with my thoughts, um, yeah, just tell me how you're feeling. Um, but next up is the main show. We're back with the final eight episodes of The Walking Dead. I'm excited. I'm sad. I just have a mixed bag of emotions. I'm ready to get into it. Um, I believe they're dropping the first two episodes. So y'all know I watch them early. I will get those edited as quickly as I can, depending on my work schedule and everything. Um, that's the nice thing about getting them early is it gives me time to edit things and get my what I got going on in order. Um, so I do enjoy that. So I, less stressful trying to keep up with everything. Um, but yeah, we got tons of Walking Dead co content coming, you know, in the future. I'm excited. Um, I may eventually one day give Tales a rewatch just to see if my feelings changed. Um, but as of right now, it's not really something I'm like too keen on revisiting. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see. Um, but thank you guys for watching and coming on this journey with me. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for more of the Walking Dead universe.